Now, as you all know, I will happily rag on the government whenever there is a good reason to. And let's be honest, they've given us a fair few recently. But Labour, it seems, are just on another level when it comes to their political stunts in conjunction with the BBC and media in general. Because the media certainly won't be calling Labour out for it, that is for sure. In fact, the only outlet I can see calling them out for this is The Spectator last night. Well, alongside Twitter, who's been calling them out since the start, but I meant mainstream media outlets in general. Now, these idiots called Labour are still running around moaning that the TikTok dancing virtue signalling tosspots in the NHS deserve more than a 1% pay rise, despite the obvious fact that millions of people who pay for the NHS through tax have taken a 100% pay cut, with millions more due to join them once furlough ends. Obviously, previous years have shown us that Labour struggles to read the room, but this is now getting ridiculous. Not only have they supported this government every step of the way, causing these problems, but it seems they will never learn, constantly moaning about shit like this, which obviously won't get them elected into office. Especially not when the promotional video they spew out contains a nurse talking shit about the government, while once again conveniently forgetting to mention the fact that she is a Labour council, and actually a former mayor meaning clearly she is about as impartial as Jess Phillips when it comes to the government or anything like that. This gives her and Labour literally zero credibility, but the BBC and media will pump it out anyway without pointing this out, because it's obviously what they do. Here, take a listen to the clip now, and I will stick up some of the responses to this crap, because the media, like I said, ain't going to be calling it out. Hello, my name's Sarah Barber. I'm a nurse at my local NHS hospital. And me and my colleagues are absolutely devastated by the announcement that's been made that we're going to receive a 1% pay rise, which is essentially a pay cut. Um, we've seen our pay reduce by 7% over the last 10 years. And this after the really difficult year that we've all had, the whole country's had, with the COVID pandemic, is just a complete slap in the face and we feel completely betrayed. We've worked really hard to care for our communities, our patients, our families, and our friends all the way through this. We've seen our care workers die because of a pandemic. We've been worried about coming to work, whether we've got the right um, PPE. We've cared for this country along with millions of other key workers and we deserve better than this. We deserve to be looked after ourselves. We deserve to feel valued. So I'm begging this government to change its mind and change this 1% pay rise and give us what we deserve. Now I have a bit of advice here for Labour. If you want doctors and nurses to be paid more, tell the NHS to stop hiring diversity and inclusion managers for 70 grand a year. That way there might be a bit more money to go around the staff. But also, now is not the right time to be moaning about NHS staff getting a pay rise. I would bet they have done less work in the past year than any year before it. They should be thankful that they still have a job while millions do not. The ungrateful cunts. We're off!